And days after the story of the controversial death of a student of Doan College, Sylvester Romoni, more information about how he allegedly refused to join a court group went viral on social media. Educationists are of the view that there is need for more counsellors and parental care to guide students. Senior correspondent Sharon Ejasson reports. There have been several reports indicating poor behavioural patterns among young children. This range from students beating up teachers to reports of gangsterism and cultism. The controversial death of a student of the Wen College Lekki in Lagos is attracting widespread outrage. Though the Lagos state government has sealed off the school over the death of 12-year-old Sylvester, reactions continue to trail the sad development. I met a guidance and counseling practitioner in Lagos. She's concerned about the trend of poor parenting skills but added that every school should ensure creation of a guidance and counseling department. A lot of parents have failed because some of them don't even have time for their children. Even when these children are going through abuses, their children don't have listening ear. They don't even want to listen to say, the child wants to tell them something to say, ah, well, I don't, have, I don't have time. I don't, want, I don't have time. Charity begins from home. Once the child does not get the, the, uh, the right values, from home. He come out to exhibit the wrong behaviors. But if he get the correct values from home, he exhibit the right behavior when he gets outside. Many lasts in the society because of the maybe basically economic reason and you know nonchalant attitude. But the counselors have a lot of free and they are playing it. Many people consider Sylvester's death as one of the disheartening deaths resulting from bullying and molestation in boarding schools lately. Karen Apuch of Premier Academic Lube Abuja died of sexual molestation in June 2021, while Don Davis of Deeper Life High School Uyo narrowly escaped death in December 2020 when his mother raised an alarm over alleged sodomy of her emaciated son. I think we've lost our values generally and what we're seeing is the children picking up on us. Um, it's not what you say, it's what you do. Um, we see bad behavior rewarded. We see corruption rewarded. We don't see hard work rewarded. We see a lot of psychophancy. So it's, the, the message is be loud, make noise. Um, it's, those, the, it's the survival of the fittest, sort of. I think the onus is on the adults a lot. When a child starts to be afraid to go to school, a child is saying things. We shouldn't just say he's lazy. I think we should ask a little bit more. When they change behavior, a, a formerly happy child is no longer that happy. Who was doing well is no longer doing well. You don't just start dealing with the symptom of he's not doing well. You start to ask what's going on. Why has he changed? There is a lot of pressure out there. Even the ones that are badly behaved, they're reacting. Researchers from Lesley University have found out that small behaviors can often signal the beginning patterns of bullying, often missed by educators who already have so much on their plates. These indicators called gateway behaviors are eye rolling, prolonged staring, back turning, laughing cruelly and encouraging others to laugh, name calling, ignoring or excluding others, causing physical harm, spying and stalking. With several conversations about achieving a safe classroom for every student in the country and also out of the country, there are several studies that indicate that if students are trained to speak up when they observe bullying behaviors, it can reduce bullying incidents by 50%. Sharon Ijasson, TVC News.